Guys, welcome back to another episode of Real Loose Adventures. We're off here today. We're gonna do a bit of barra fishing, a bit of hunting. See how this fella goes. I'm gonna put a tracker on him today. So, oh, me and Dan come up last night and went for a bit of a hunt. The landowners told us about this swamp. They reckon it's loaded with big boars. We went in there. Blaze actually did his first find ever. Like, we didn't see the pig, and he took off probably about 150 meters. Found the pig. We got it with a gun. And we went to this um, swamp the landowners told us about, and it was just loaded with big pigs. So I'll flick over to that footage now, and we'll get this video rolling. Woo! Yeah, bro. Leave him, leave him. Good shooting. Good boy. Good boy. Blaze's first find ever by himself. Good boy. Little sow. But still, he he could smell it. He done a little bark. I don't know what he was doing to start with. And then he, we lost him. And I was like, heard barking. Run here. He had it bailed. The two dogs had the pig spinning. Sadie, Blaze. Frothing. <laughs> Might have to blow its head off. Just shoot. Wait, your dog. Your dog. Your dog. You want to shoot that one? Yeah, go for that big one. There's pigs everywhere, but it's getting pretty dark. Got him. Hit that other one over the other side. See him? Over the other side. He's got one here. He's got one right here. I think so. Okay, yeah. There were some big boars there. Oh, you got this big one here. Look, Blazer's sitting on him. Good boy. Oh, no, it's, yeah, you got him. Fuck you. No, no, that's Blaze. So it's a bit dark now, but we come down onto this sick swamp here. Just we're on the other side over here. And we could just see big pigs all over here. And there's one over there. We didn't know which way to go to start with. And we're like, we're gonna go there. And then that one must have smelt us and head off. And then we come over here and then we didn't even see a big one. He had a shot, missed it. Smacked this big dog right here. Huge pig. And then Blaze found it dead up in the bush. Hey. Frothing. You. There's no pigs on that swamp. Looks like they've sort of smashed all the lilies out of the middle, so they're not really feeding on that swamp. Moment, so I'm gonna go down and hit the river in the thick. See if we can pull a couple out out of down there.
Lies, lies, come, come, come on. Good boy. Good boy, good boy, good boy. <laughs> you got lifted. You got lifted, boy. Don't get too close to him, they'll fuck you up. He's come off that swamp, walking this dry creek bed, and I sort of got to this corner, as you see just up here, and this boar. He was just rooting around here, rooting around in the mud, having a little drink and stuff. That's all his tracks there. And Blaze, he couldn't smell him for some reason. I think because the boar, if I was just bow hunting, the boar was on me. He knew I was there. He, he was listening. And every time I'd take a footstep and crunch in the sand, he'd like he'd prick his ear up. I was like, oh, I thought it was going to lose him. But Blaze was sitting just under here under these trees. And then he seen the boar just start walking. Then he just upped it. And then the boar has come up here. Ball was standing right here, and I shot through these trees into the ball, which was standing right here. And but the first shot was a clean pass through, and I found my arrow just laying up there. And then he was stumbling, like hit him like it must have been back end of a double lung. And then he just stumbled up there, and I snuck up, cracked him straight in the shoulder, and that dropped him instantly. So it was a pretty clean, quick kill. I was a bit toey because that last boy using the dog in the boat up me, so. I'm gonna go to quick video and we'll keep going. <laughs> Thanks. Woo! Big boar. Frothing on the bow. Dog bowed him up, smacked him with the bow. Big fella, struggled to get up on this log. But yeah, we're gonna keep cruising. It's getting pretty hot. I'll see how the dog's going. See if we get one more pig and then. Um, have a little barrow fish after that and then head back. Whew, it's hot, man. What do you reckon, boy? One more pig. We got three arrows. One more? Okay. Okay, so we've got walked 100 meters and there's a big boar laying down. There's a boar up in the shallows just up here. Little ball is onto us. He wasn't that big, he's probably like 50 kilo sort of thing. Still would have been a good little ball for Blaze to get. But yeah, he fully cooked it. Like I, I could see where he went up and he was just sitting on top just sniffing and listening and I sort of pressed up too hard. And Blaze ran up the other side. Must have been old scent going that way and yeah, he full cooked it. <laughs> Alright, we'll keep going. He's running around pretty good still, so a little bit more time left in him. Oh he's pinning it that way hard. Oh, he's, got, he's, got, he's got a boy. He's got a pig. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. All right, let's try not to get ripped up here. Got him. Nice little boar, Blaze pulled up by himself, smacked it with the bow, got it straight through the heart, dropped it up in the thick there. Yeah, Rothen, he found that by himself, so he's definitely getting improving on his nose, so 
I still got three arrows, so we we'll might get see if we can get one more pig. I got low battery, so I'll make this video quick. Woo! He just blew that pig. Oh, we're heading back to the car. It's getting pretty hot. We just blew a good boar and he ran out 200 and come back. Come on. See, he's half balling up, staying back behind. Um, there's known to be saltwater crocs in these parts. There's more freshies, but I just don't want to take the risk. So if he gets hot, oh, he's going to go straight for a drink in a deeper hole. It's pretty shallow along here, but crocs are everywhere these days. Never used to really be salties here, but I think they are. I've heard they are getting around here now. But um, yeah, we're gonna head back and probably see if we can catch a barrel. Yeah, get get out of there. Come on. Fresh your butch on the ass. Oh, oh man, there's some barrels in there. 